This video is sponsored by Moft. Get the most out of your iPhone. One thing I have always pondered is why spending a significant amount of money on something that we are not able to use it properly or at least not to its full potential? Of course, this isn't a polemical video. I'm here to explain you all my tips and tricks to really improve your iPhone experience. So first up, let's start with a really underrated built-in apps in my opinion, which is shortcuts. I could dedicate a whole video to this application because it can be quite complicated to understand. Imagine it as a tool where you can do pretty anything you want. If there's a feature or automation missing on your iPhone, creating a shortcut might solve it. While there are many preset shortcuts available online, I'll focus on two basic ones in this video addressing an iOS feature I have always disliked. You know when you want to disable Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connection, but from the control center you can just turn them off for the next 24 hours. Well, with these two shortcuts that I have linked in the description, you can simply turn them off forever. I suggest you also add the widgets to your home screen. For example, I place them in today view, which is the page I use for utilities and quick access. You can think of it as a sort of second control center designed by you. Just to mention some other shortcuts I use daily, there's get images from the page to instantly get all the pictures from a website. And since many times I find my Myself looking for YouTube videos I want to watch later because I have no time at that moment, I created a simple icon shortcut that links me directly to the watch later playlist of YouTube, which is quite hidden and difficult to reach. As for my favorite automations, I've set automatic screen rotation when I open and close specific apps such as YouTube, Photos or Browser. Since I dislike constantly having the rotation lock disabled, I decided to activate it effectively when I need it. Next up, let's talk about iCloud and the Apple ecosystem. I've already made two videos explaining my use of Apple devices, so now I will mention only my favorite features. First of all, I love the iCloud desktop since with the iPhone Files application, this means that everything I place on my MacBook desktop can be instantly viewed on my iPhone and vice versa. Another game-changing feature is the possibility to create a digital signature directly from the iPhone in order to sign instantly all the PDFs. When you open a doc, simply click on the pen icon, then on the plus button and select add signature. If you have an iPad, I suggest you using the Apple Pencil for more accuracy. If you have a MacBook, you can also use your iPhone with Apple Continuity as a webcam for your video calls. As soon as you turn on your camera, you should receive a notification on your iPhone. The last feature is directly importing photos or documents from iPhone to Mac. Just right click on your preferred MacBook folder, select import from iPhone and for example, you can easily scan a document from the iPhone and instantly have it on your MacBook too. Next up, let's move on to keyboard tips and tricks. First of all, if you are still not using keyboard shortcuts, what's wrong with you? Jokes aside, I know there are certain things you have to type out periodically, some formulas or information you want quick access to. Well, go to settings, general, keyboard, and then select text replacement. Here you can set short phrases that will be substituted by anything you want. For example, I use the phrases email one, two, or three to quickly input my main email addresses. But you can also use them to store personal and recurring information, such as your tax ID code or your shipping address. Since we are in the prompt area, you can also use some pre-made prompts to speed up your workflow using AI. Speaking of keyboard, let's go over some tips to use it. Something everyone knows is using the spacebar as a pointer by simply holding it down. But I discovered that by simply holding down another point on the keyboard, you can also precisely select the text, which is really convenient sometimes instead of manually tapping and scrolling through the text with your fingers. Moving on, I won't delve into camera details because a few months ago I published a comprehensive guide on the channel explaining the best iPhone camera settings, so be sure to check it out. Now I want to talk about an app that we all use, Notes. First of all, while I'm always on the lookout for new apps and tools to improve my productivity, I have to say that I'm not a big fan of those trends online where 
people only use alternative apps for things that, in my opinion, can be easily done by stock iOS apps. That's why I try to use built-in apps as much as possible and only switch to alternatives if they offer real advantages. I've created four folders for organize the different notes, but one essential folder, in my opinion, is a docs folder. This is a real-time saver similar to the keyboard shortcuts we mentioned earlier, because you will likely need to share personal scan documents for various reasons. You can simply scan them through the notes application, upload them, and have a dedicated notes always handy to share the PDFs, which can also be easily printed. If you don't feel safe to keep them there, remember that you can add another level of protection by setting a password or using Face ID directly to unlock the notes. In my opinion, this is one of the best uses for notes application, because let's remember that all the notes are synced between all other Apple devices. Next up, let's talk about some physical accessories and here comes to help the sponsor of this video. The folks at Moft sent me their Creator Media Kit, which contains free products that I genuinely loved. I also had the opportunity to talk directly with them and I was really amazed by their passion and dedication to explain me everything, all the projects and ideas behind these products. The kit includes a phone lanyard to keep your phone always handy, which is especially helpful when you are on the go and need to quickly access your phone. Then there is this sleek leather case, which is of really high quality, but it fits the iPhone perfectly. However, my absolute favorite products are the snap phone wallet and the tripod stand, which can be attached with MagSafe to the back of the iPhone. Especially the latter is truly one of the best accessory designed for iPhone that I ever tried. I can't seem to part with it anymore because I use it for practically everything. My favorite feature is the ability to adjust the angle as you want, which is something you rarely see. It's so versatile and I use it to film videos both vertically and horizontally, but also to position my iPhone as a webcam, as we saw at the beginning of this video, for example. The wallet is more convenient if you want to carry some cards with you too, but I've fallen in love with the tripod and in recent in recent weeks I've brought it with me everywhere. Lots of people have been asking about it because it can be really helpful for everyone. So if you're interested make sure to check out the first link in the description. Another product I consider essential, especially if you have other devices, is a multiple wireless charger. Trust me, having a dedicated place to charge all your devices without much thought is really helpful. I've tried several wireless chargers so I leave a list of my favorites in the description. Of course smartphones are made of apps and tools and this is also why I've created a full series on my Instagram, so here's a roundup of my favorite ones. Arc Search. I used Safari for many years, but I have fully switched to Arc because it has some incredible AI features that greatly simplify the browsing experience. Not only is it well designed, but for example, when you are reading a long article, you can simply pinch to summarize and in a few seconds Arc will condense the entire website into a concise list. This is incredible. You can also use the Browse for Me feature, which helps you compare different websites at once for quicker research. My Mind is my favorite application for always having a place for random ideas. It's like a big whiteboard where you can collect whatever is in your mind, from random thoughts to links to resources you want to access later, this is the right place. If you want to limit distractions from certain apps, you should unload one sec. With it you will be able to set up a kind of one second loading screen that will appear as soon as you try to open a selected application. It might seem not so effective, but you will actually see that most of the time you will be incentivized to close the application. We all know ChatGPT, but I suggest to you using Perplexity for more precise and effective research and Microsoft Copilot for using AI combined with online access if you don't have the paid ChatGPT plan. So, these were all my tips and tricks to get most out of your iPhone. If you have suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment in order to add more value for everyone. And as always, wishing you the best. See you soon. Thank you.